Alright, what's up guys? I got a new wheel spacers for the uh, Nissan 200SX uh, V6. Um, basically, I'm just replacing the uh, factory 5 lug wheel uh, with uh, basically this is a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, 205-60R15s and I'm going to be going with something like this. So this is a um, aftermarket wheel that I just painted. Um, so it, we're going with a 215 55R16s. Now these tires are not perfect, so even though I may have painted it, don't worry about it. It's going to be replaced anyways. But um, I just wanted just to show you guys how thick this wheel is. Um, and it's also a little bit wider, so when I put this on the car, it did rub. So I had to get these um, these wheel spacers that I got online. So take a look let's take a look at this thing and what it looks like so i just went with a one inch spacer uh this is kind of like what it says on the side here so it's a one inch spacer kit uh that i got online uh this is the website from where uh you can purchase one of these uh, although i think i got mine online through amazon I believe. so you know you can also get these on amazon basically gives you some set of instructions here on how to do your wheel spacers uh so that's the the fitment that I got right there, uh, which is the exact uh, fitment on the rim, and just basically follow these instructions. You know, you install the spacers, you check up the car, and all the good stuff there. So obviously prior for me ordering this, I did find out that obviously I needed these. Uh, so you know, we're going to crack this thing open and I can take a look and see what it looks like. So let's see here, these things are pretty gnarly man it is heavy they're big um but yeah these are it right here um really nice i like the imprint on the side so basically these are going to go uh, these lug nuts are going to go on my existing ones that you that i have underneath my car here and um so when they go through here i pop these in here and then these are going to be my new studs that i'm going to be putting my wheel on now i am replacing the uh lug nuts that normally comes with these nissans uh, these acorn ones i am going to be replacing them i do have other uh, lug nuts that i was going to put on here so uh you will see that shortly once i start putting the wheel back on uh on this car with you know i have four sets so uh the fronts are going to be one inch um thick and the same as the back i didn't really have to do anything to the back but i figured since i'm going to be uh, putting these spacers in the front I might as well just do the back as well. So uh, we'll see how they look. Um, and I'll try to show a video, a picture before and the after. So stay tuned. All right, so I just put in the, uh, the spacer on one side. So this is the original uh, gap on the uh, on the 200SX. That's the original, you know, when you, the original factory tire, no, no, um, no extension on it. So when I, uh, I just finished putting one side in. I didn't, I didn't do everything yet, but just so you can see now how far that sticks out. Look at that. Wow. Holy cow, man. I mean, this is up in the air right now, so obviously, you know, it's going to stick out a little bit. So we'll see once I drop this thing how far it really sticks. But I'm using, um, decided to, uh, so you can see how it is right in there. Uh, there's the, um, there's the spacer, and uh, these are the lug nuts I'm using. I'm just using these raised acorn ones. Um, you can kind of see the numbers in there. Uh, 12 by 125. You know, just something big. I just had these extras lying around um, I, for a previous car that I had and didn't get the chance to use it, so I already kind of scuffed up that right there. Oh, well, what can you do? These are used, to, these are used rims, and I'm going to be replacing these tires anyways, so... Who knows, I might go to a, a narrower uh, numbers than the 215, 55, 16s. So I might just do a, um, uh, a 205 maybe, um, it might be, or 230, or 225, either one of those two might be, uh, might be a little bit more narrower. Or I should, I, I should say 205 should be narrow, narrower that I can fit on this, um, on this rim. But um, anyways, let me finish this up and show you what it looks like. Oh, there she is guys just dropped there so you can see exactly how far away she is from the fender just a wee bit and of course obviously this is turned in a little bit but 
not horrible, you know. Could it be worse? Yes. But the good thing is, it is clearing the shock tower. That's kind of hard to see, but here, hold on. Let's see if I can turn on the uh, flash here. So you can see it clears the shock tower, which is good, um, which is nice. So, you know, obviously it won't be uh, rubbing against that. Um, it's not rubbing against the inner shock either because there's enough clearance and you can tell I mean, and then obviously from here that's about as much gap as I have and of course I got to replace my my shock so this is probably sitting a little lower than what it should um, but overall not too bad you know considering um, these are like junk uh, rims and I just kind of brought them back to life for now on my car um, and uh, this will kind of look at the Hachiroko-ish <laughs> style once I'm done. Um, in any case, uh, I'm going to do the other side and finish this up and hopefully do the backs and you can see them both. Alright All right, guys, so I put the, uh, the wheels, the wheel spacers, it's on the uh, Nissan right now. Uh, so you can take a look at the spacer now. Look at that's how that's how far off. It's perfect actually. At one inch spacer, um, running 16s, you know, 205 at 215, 55, 16s. Um, so that's what these things look like. These are on stock suspension, stock springs. Um, I haven't had a chance to finally see if this thing rubs or not. Um, I was just gonna turn the wheel to find that out, but. Overall, I mean, this one, the front sticks out a little bit, so I probably could have went with just a regular, um, uh, not going with a one inch, but maybe a half inch uh, would have been a, a good one for this, but um, pretty happy with it, I would say, uh, overall. But uh, yeah, take a look, and you can see for yourself how it looks. Yeah. Nice wide, wide tires back here. Really clean overall. Very happy with it. <laughs>